just something I've actually realised about my journey so far is that a lot of things get released or a lot of elevation takes place when I am in the presence of God. It's actually mad. It makes you have like a, a negative perception about males or... Hi, I'm Mo, a young Nigerian girl with big dreams. I run an online TV channel called Mo Chunks TV. A lot goes on behind the scenes. I travel a lot. I've got family, relationship issues, and I'm trying to work out this career. Here's my journey, my reality. This is being Mo Chunks. Okay guys, so America was so lit and aside from Mo Chunks, I work part time to make money to fund Mo Chunks, um, which requires me to go away from home for like a week or so. This week I'm working by the seaside and I'm really, really excited because I feel so at peace around water in general like a bubble bath is something that calms me down swimming although i can't swim but when i'm in water i don't know it's just something so relaxing about it and also with the seaside especially there's something so special about it because i feel like the sky feels so close to the ground and i honestly feel so close to god in that moment you're away from all the noise really got to like hear from god and i really got to speak with god so i just got back to my mad house sophie's hey there i literally had the best time away from home but um no not that not like that i just had a really nice i look so ugly wow um let me just show you because it's isha just got her results today she got into uni and i'm really really excited about that so i ordered her some pizza oh, okay. that with my money yeah don't get rude <laughs> with your nakedness no nobody that's child abuse <laughs> child pornography <laughs> let's see what we got so Sophie wasted my money. Ah, Sophie, I'll beat you. I, I waste... gave her my card details and she just started ordering anything. <laughs> anyway, don't worry, I'll deal with you later. I had come back onto YouTube, but things weren't quite like going as I'd hoped. So I just prayed to God. I really cried out to him and I just prayed that God, please take me from overlooked to overbooked. From the things you will see from the Bean My Chance series onwards, you will see that God really answered my prayers. Who gets five sides? That's not a side, that's a dessert. It's a side. It's a dessert. So use my money to buy dessert. <laughs> Don't worry, when you get your student loan. I'll jump on Nani. Baby, please. Please have no patience with me. Hi. Yeah. Are you still What? Can we eat now? I'm nice and yummy. Why did you go to that with that Sophie? I'm hosting an event, it's called Precious Inner Sights. I've hosted a few small events, but this would be the first big one actually. And I'm really, really nervous, but I'm trusting God that he's brought me to this event for a purpose. <laughs> And I've always had a burden in my heart for women and especially women in relationships and heartbreak and that kind of stuff And that's what this event kind of embodies So I really feel like it was God ordained for them to contact me to host the event I'm taking you through this so that you can go through someone else's experience And then you can encourage them through that Yeah. So I'm here, I'm standing as a broken woman But deep this, see the broken pieces that we may have in our lives they're simply materials for God to create something beautiful. Amen. All those broken pieces. And there was a man who said that you won't know your sharpest edge until you're broken. Yeah. The other day I finally learned how to do the shoki. Like I know it's even outdated. Yes. Ah, 
Whatever you guys, whatever. <laughs> about males or did that change your view on men at all no and I was surprised because yeah when I think about that no it didn't um but it did I did still even after healing from we're made whole again in Christ but we still realize there's so much residue left and I think with me trying to break into the media in the UK and in the Western world one of the biggest things for me is that I have a bit of a Nigerian accent and I feel like it's something that British born Nigerians especially tend to not mock but they they always taken aback by it when they when they hear you speak in, in the in person. So um, sometimes I have to decide am I gonna talk in my Nigerian accent? Am I going to try and touch it up a little bit and sound more like this? So yeah, it's a bit difficult but because um, in the media we don't talk about Fathers being absent from females like that, we say, oh, fathers are not around for males, that's why they commit crimes. I end up chasing, ch yeah, chasing, chasing guys that, you know, I thought that, okay, this is what love is meant to be, this is what TV has showed me, so this is how it's meant to be, right? It's meant to hold me like that, like, I think you're meant to be close like this, right? Like, that's how it's meant to be. Well, not all of us, but most of us. Heartbreak, as per usual, it does its job of damaging, like, Something I really, really gained recently from like hosting events and stuff is that um, it's not your voice, it's your message. There's so many things that we feel like we are unqualified for, but it's what God has placed in us that needs to come forth. That is much more important than the delivery and the style it comes out in. And I wrote this in my journal that I got from Dr. Kanayo at that event. It's not your voice, it's your message. I will speak on that in the, in the video in the future. I was very touched in the event. There was a point where I felt like, okay, I can't even post anymore. Let me just feel. Let me just feel God. And then we catch my train down to London, obviously guys, we're only outside of London. Got here for like 1.30, did my makeup, got all the protocols and everything. Got ready and hosted the event. Thank you so much, girl. What is it? Lemonade. Oh, lemonade. Thank you. If you want juice, we have no juices. We want to take one home for free. Thank you, girl. Thank you so Thank you. much for today. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. Whilst I was at Precious in his site, my mentions were going crazy. I had scheduled a video, a watch training video to go up. Um, there was a previous, or two previous watch, watch training videos that kind of got a bit of like attention, but this one got so much attention in a short amount of time, I was a bit shook. You know something I've actually realized about my journey so far is that a lot of things get released, or a lot of elevation takes place when I am in the presence of God. It's actually mad. Whenever I am at a conference or I'm just so wrapped up in God's glory, something happens, something manifests in the physical. And what I do want to take from that is that to, to kind of stay here and maintain it, I must try, my, and it's hard in this world, but I must try to just stay in the presence of God. It doesn't mean that there has to be music following me everywhere I go. Sometimes that just means devotion, speaking to God, asking him to guide me, praying before I do things. Today I'm 
heading to the wedding of Chiaka and her hobby and I'm really looking forward to it because I haven't been to a lot of Ipo weddings, I'm Yoruba and I tend to go to more Yoruba weddings so I'm excited to see how it's gonna go. We're done with the church wedding which I did not vlog because I just wasn't in the mood and now we're going to get some food before we go to reception. Because we hungry. Yes. And sometimes before they serve food in these weddings, I haven't eaten this morning. This one had full English <laughs> this morning, so she's been enjoying herself. I'm with my friend Samira. We've been friends for about two, three years now. Um, I'm not sure how we met, but she is one of those that I would call my Christian sister. We talk about intimate things. We pray together sometimes. We don't talk all the time, but when we do, and when we do see each other, it's usually a good link up. Hiya, um, what are the snack box options please? We do popcorn, hot wings, one bone and a strip or one piece of chicken. Can I get a snack box with the uh, one piece of chicken and can it be breast please? We'll try our best for you. Anything else for you? That's everything, thank you. Which one is we'll try our best? <laughs> The culture, the Igbo culture is so rich. I feel like Nigerian culture in general is so rich, but seeing it unfold is actually something really, really special. The youngest couple in town, made in heaven, brand new. Okay, so we have to